Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to go over how to export your files and um, presets and whatnot for someone who wants to open up your project and if they don't have the um, stuff that you have. So what I mean is, for example, think of it as a guy just had a fresh installation of FL Studio. Um, you have like the best clap. Here we have clap lol. And say he doesn't have clap lol. And he wants to open up your project. But unfortunately he has to use something else. Now what we want to do obviously is allow them to preview your project the way it's meant to be. So that's when you can use this uh, handy setting over here. Basically um, what the thing we're going to use is you go to file, um, you go to export and it's right here project data files. When you click on that it uses and takes um, basically the files that the project's basically using. In this case it looks at clap lol close hat, open hat, snare, and kick. There's five samples, and you'll throw it in a folder. So you'll do that in a folder, and when you put your FLP file um, with this, basically, um, you'll have it as a set. So he can, op he can open it up, he or she can open it up, um, he and they'll have access to all the sound clips as well. If, in the case where you want to make it... Um, where you want them, you want to allow them to have access to specific presets, whether it be in the mixer, in a VST, or something like that, like this trance bass. Um, same thing, but that's when you use the Project Bones. Project Bones is the same thing, but it does it, do, it does it just for the channels, um, mixers, the patterns, any of the effects you're using for anything here, like Fruity Phaser or the effect for this specific um, slot will be saved in that folder. In that case, just save the project data files, the project bones, your project, throw it in a zip folder, and you're ready. So you can send it to someone and they can fully preview that project. Um, the only reason why they wouldn't be able to is in the case where you have a VSTI that they don't have. So if they don't have like REFX Nexus and you did, then obviously it's not going to work. They have to have REFX Nexus. But in the case of presets, um, audio clips that they don't have, this is uh, what you want to use in that case. So thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope to help you guys out. Please remember to rate my video, leave a comment, um, subscribe if you haven't already. If you if you do need help with something specifically, specifically, um, just leave a comment on my video or you can message me directly on YouTube. So I'll see you guys again soon and take care.